Oh, it's an armadillo. Kill it. Does it attack me? Is that what it's doing? Yeah. It rolls up into a ball. Mm -hmm. Like an armadillo should. It's an armadillo that knows what it wants to do. It's an armadillo that knows what it wants. I like an armadillo that knows what it wants. You just like armadillos in general. Mostly if they know what they want. Yeah, it's some um, interest in their lives. Some sass and a passion. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of present right around here. <gasps> I heard a meteorite. I heard a meteorite too. This is cool terrain generation. I got a star piece. Oh, oh, oh. This is very cool terrain generation. So, I think this is our fifth star piece now? So I think you need like nine to make a start. Yeah. And then it like recharges your tools or something, well, repairs your tools. I'm not sure how good it is, but it sounds cool. Get out of here, you darn chocobo. You duplicitous chocobo. Um, why is there chest in there? It's a waste of space. Precious what? space. I just took it. I just took the chest out of the chest because I thought this was a, kind of a waste of space. You're a waste of space. Your mother's a waste of space. I'm sorry. Your mother's a waste of space. She is. Um, no. It's just, she's not. I mean, she doesn't have a job, so I mean, it depends on how you value space, I guess. Sharpness 5. Okay. Now that I have tested those other two swords against you, can I try this one against you? Yes. Uh, very good. This may kill you, so probably keep your armor on for this one. I mean, if you want to take the risk, we could try. This will probably do a lot of damage. Three and a half parts. Which is not bad because you're wearing diamond armor. It's um, sharpness five, diamond glaive. I'm wearing, I'm breaking, I'm wearing, yeah. I mean, if you want to try without armor, if you if you feel brave. No, I don't feel brave. I'll try against the chocobo. So 30 health becomes, hey, hey, the other chocobo, stay still. Ready? Oh, oh, 23. That oh. would definitely kill me. Yeah. That would kill you by three, one and a half hearts. Chocobo, should I kill you? Don't do it, don't do it, man. He's gonna stick with us the whole series. As I visited this site, and then I got a, I visited one, the site among many, and I got a virus. Well, I mean. It must have been the site. If it was the site, which was really shady and then maybe it was. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just Maybe my, I urinated. My mother's been <laughs> my, I feel like my mother often has those sorts of thoughts like just says things like that, like Oh, it must have been something rather unrelated to the virus happening. I, I never used to be allowed to use the internet on the computer because everything was a virus, apparently. Oh, yes, everything was a virus when you were young. And, like, I literally, I, I mean, for the most part, we didn't have useful internet, but when we finally did, it was like, nope, you can't do anything with it because everything is a virus. Everything. I mean, everyone else is using the internet, but we can't because we know better. And we can't get any virus protection because it's, it's worse than a virus. And that's really horrible. But, I mean, I can see the point, I mean. Yeah, I, I mean, we didn't know what we were doing, really. My my computer sucks right now, because probably due to viruses. I mean, I, I it takes me 30 seconds to open the internet. Like, why? Why does it take that long to open the internet? It's not that the internet's slow, my computer's slow. I mean, both of those things, once it's open, it works. It's just opening it in the first place. I'm gonna shoot a bird. You go shoot that bird. Shoot that shoot that bird. Oh shoot I got that it. bird. Show I me killed that it. bird. Oh I saw it's like feathers fall to the ground. It was amazing. So yesterday, right, I was watching some YouTube videos. Ah uh, yes. About um the art assignment. Have I told you about the art assignment yet? I don't believe so. Okay. Well, John Green, my my favorite hero of them all, um, is... Rack. What? 
I prefer Hank. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, his wife, I like Hank, too. He's a wonderful man. Um, but his wife, um, Sarah, or a.k.a. the Yeti, um, had him and his wife um, both are be, are doing this PBS um, show called The Art Assignment, where uh, they interview um, artists, rather obscure, um, who have who are doing something interesting and unique um, and it's not always easy, it's not always you don't always think of it as traditional art it's not traditional art um, it's sort of uh, mixing modern mixing like low class and high class and um, going out into the world and doing interesting things um, and uh, so, for ex- for instance, they um, and they give us they give an art assignment. They assign something that you should do, um, such as the first one was meet in the middle, where you go out and you um, choose and you pick someone who you want to meet um, out in the world, and you and you ch- choose to meet at the exact geographical location, uh, the exact geographical middle between your two houses or your two places where you were, whether you were at work or something. Um, and you just go and maybe ha- and do something, whether you go get some food or uh, something like that. My goodness, there's lots of things in there. Uh, uh, kill them. So have you met someone recently? No, I haven't. I haven't done any of the things. Um, but I just think they're extremely interesting. Um, and I want to do some of them. Like one, the uh, another one was to um, get, oh, get in. Did I wither you? Uh, oh, that might have been you that was me. Yes, that's okay, right. Walked in front of me. Sorry. Um, is to choose an object that is interesting, put it in a public place, and observe what pe- how people interact with it. Interesting. Yeah, just that sort of interesting thing. Um, that I just find really. I want to do it. Um, another recent one was uh, choose something that has significance of you, to you, and uh, make a gif about it. Gif. Or gif, whatever, however you want to uh, pronounce it. But I thought uh, it's all a bunch of interesting stuff like that, like just something simple that is sort of. Very meaningful as well, and then of course, and then there's people that upload their videos about. So someone went out and um, met in the middle, and they filmed it, right? Oh, yeah. So they um, just were like, "Oh, well, we're here," and it's it's awesome because there's people all over the world doing this. Mm-hmm. So um, there's people in Spain, in Italy, in uh, Norway, lots of people in uh, in. In um, Amsterdam, lots of people in England, um, in Germany, uh, in I think there was someone in um, Thailand. Um, it was all very, very, I don't know, all sort of came together. The so, nerd fighter community coming so, together. So did people meet up like if they lived in different countries and just like traveled? Really? By train, yeah. There was this one video where people, uh, someone lived in. Um, Austria and someone lived in uh, another country and they just sort of met in, they took the train and they took the metro and uh, met up with each other. Where are we going? Um, I'm fighting creepers. Ah. And Enderman or whatever. We do My. need to get some Enderman. My goodness. I, I, I just thought because it's day out I thought we might come down here and look for Enderman. And while we're at it, I might as well kill some creepers. See as I need to get. I think they don't seem to spawn underground. Uh, I think it's because they have to be three high. Before some time. We have so much gold ore, I don't think I need any of this. Yes. You always need gold. Gold is life. Gold is. Left eyebrow. 
Oh, oh, XP bush. Oh, important. 